Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about the power of a spark. Bonfires are a favorite activity for our family. We gather in the backyard and prepare the fire pit. I am always amazed by the power of a small spark that sets a fire in motion. A spark set into a crumpled up newspaper turns into a roaring fire very quickly. This is a lot like the work of Jesus in the hearts of the lost. A simple spark changes everything and sets the world on fire. Jesus created a spark in Samaria that turned into a roaring fire. So what exactly was that spark? What was the result of that fire? Let's finish our story at the well in John chapter 4, beginning in verse 39. Many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is indeed the Savior of the world. I want to stop here for a moment to remember what's happened in chapters 3 and 4. Jesus spent time with Nicodemus in chapter 3. Nicodemus was a religious leader who thought religion and works was the way to God. You see, Nick knew the Old Testament, and yet he missed God's grace. Jesus shared the truth, but he remained perplexed. Now, here in chapter 4, Jesus meets a Samaritan woman, a Gentile that the Jews did not like. She is a sinner with a bad reputation. Jesus meets her, and she is changed. She runs off to invite the town to meet Jesus. And what's the result? They come to Him, they hear His message, and they believe. You see, Jesus was the spark that lit the woman's soul on fire. She ran off and shared the flame of the gospel that set the town on fire. The town was set ablaze. As Jesus said a few verses earlier, the harvest is white. It is ready. Who will go get it? Many of us who are here today caught the spark and our hearts began burning for Jesus. But some of us left the fire in the fire pit and we've kept it for ourselves. Others here let the fire out of the pit but people tried to snuff it out. So you've put it back in the fire pit. Yet there are others who got the fire, but have not stoked the fire and fed it. And now that fire dwindles. You see, people avoid being on fire for Jesus. But today, if you've never let Jesus touch you, will you let him? I promise you, no one is too far gone for God. No one is too bad to receive that gift. If you recognize your sinfulness, then you know why Jesus came. It was to pay for that sin. I encourage you, receive that gift. Believe in Jesus. Allow Him to create a spark and let you loose with His message and power. If you've been keeping that fire to yourself, remember the world is ready and in desperate need of Jesus' message. Share your story. Share the gospel. Share the story of God's faithfulness in your life. That fire is meant to be spread and not contained or even put out. Today, Jesus is calling you to invite people to meet Him. Or you may be the one He's calling today. Regardless, 
there is new life in Christ, so let's spread the fire today.